Hi everyone. Um, it's been a while since I've done a, a Facebook Live and I really wanted to start doing them again and um, sharing some information with you and what I hope is uh, valuable kind of information, advice, that kind of thing. So um, I'm just going to start right off. So basically uh, eating disorders are mental health illnesses and you know although the focus is definitely on food and on weight <laughs> hi Sarah you did remember well done <laughs> I actually did put a reminder on as well so um, yeah so although the food focus is definitely around um, food and eating and weight there's a reason for that and that is because it helps us avoid painful and uncomfortable feelings. We don't want to feel these feelings that we're having so we try and avoid them and it's not a conscious decision but it's very there in the background because our mind wants to try and help us and it is a good temporary solution um, but it always ends up becoming a bigger problem in the end. Now I work with my clients, um, you know, to help with this, to kind of like help them deal with their feelings, etc., and change their way of thinking about themselves so they don't feel the need to use food anymore. And that can be kind of like overeating, that can be restriction, you know, all kinds of eating disorders, and I treat them in the same way. Now, obviously, if you're interested in working with me, then please uh, give me a call. But if you'd like some, just some information, some tips and advice and that, I want to do these Facebook Lives to try and kind of give you um, things that I've learned during my own recovery, but things that I've kind of picked up and worked with my own clients on. So the one thing today I want to, you to think about and maybe challenge the way that you think um, is, uh, and Stacey, I think you're watching with me as well, so thanks for joining me, uh, is who, who, who would you like to look like? You know, I know there's this thing on, you know, the emphasis because, again, it's a mental health illness, and so, you know, we, rather than focus on this, we focus on, a lot on food, weight, our bodies, etc., and often, you know, that, that causes, that's very regimented, we very much control everything to try and look a certain way, to try and lose weight or, you know, try and manage our weight, etc. Um, and we have very much uh, fears around our weight. But who are you actually trying to look like? You know, by losing the weight, I know it's a control issue, but who would you like to look like? Just have a thing. If you want to kind of like put in the comments box, if you don't, that's absolutely fine. But I remember thinking it was all about being uh, slim for me and I needed to be tiny and that. And then I remember, and I always used to want to look like, say, Jennifer Aniston or, you know, uh, Jennifer Lopez or um, various different people. And there was this woman that I saw walking down the street and... Um, and it was when I was kind of going through recovery and she was probably um, wanting, okay, Stacey, you're saying you want to be tiny, but who do you want to look like? Give me a name. Who do you sort of, who do you see on the telly or, or something like that? And you say, I want to look like them. Um, and I saw this lady and, um, you know, and she was probably bigger than me at that time. But she just had this kind of, this way about her. You know, she looked confident, she looked really attractive and stuff. And that's the bit that was missing with me, is that I wasn't confident. I wasn't sort of like, you know, giving it all, you know, and kind of got the swagger and stuff like that. And I'm not saying that about being cocky or anything like that, but she was confident and she wore her clothes well. And I don't know if you know what I mean about that, but I was just very sort of like Heidi and I wanted to just sort of like disappear. 
and that's not attractive, you know, to, 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 to a lot of people. And sometimes it's about, you know, we can sort of think that we want to kind of be a certain, you know, size or whatever, but actually that's not the goal. The goal is to feel confident. You know, we want to, so Stacey, you say, I want to be tiny, but why? What is it that, that you think that that's gonna bring for you? How is it that you are gonna think that that's gonna make you feel? Because, you know, you know, and I know, that being tiny is not, you know, it, it doesn't bring all those things that you thought it would bring to you. It still doesn't make you any happier. In a certain way it might, but it doesn't make you truly happy. And it's about changing our minds, our way of thinking. And, you know, it's about being confident. And so, you know, who do you think is beautiful? Who do you think that is beautiful? Who do you see and you think, wow, they are beautiful? Because, again, there is not one person that I could point to that was really tiny and healthily tiny that I thought was beautiful or that I wanted to look like that person. Not one. And so actually what I really wanted to be was healthy and confident. But no matter how much weight I lost or how much weight I thought I needed to lose in order to achieve that it was never gonna happen because my mind wasn't in the right place, it wasn't thinking right, my mind was ill. Hence, an eating disorder is a mental health illness. You know, none of the people that I wanted to look like was a size zero, you know? They just, just did not want to look like that. I thought that I wanted to be like that because I thought that it would kind of bring me, you know, all this happiness and, you know, I would celebrate and stuff and then it never happened. It was always like, right, I've got to do more now, I've got to do more. And it was just, it never actually brought me that happiness. And it just got more sort of like torturous. Okay, so you, Stacey, you say you just see fat always. I remember doing that even when, you know, I was very tiny because again, just how my brain was how I felt about myself. And so, you know, if you can get, if you can try and challenge, you know, if you can think to yourself, you know, eating disorders are a mental health illness. And okay, we can, you know, through eating disorders, we all know that we can become very unhealthy physically. But in order to eliminate the eating disorder, the mind needs to be sorted, the mind needs to be fixed, the way that you think about yourself needs to be sorted because otherwise it will just go from one eating disorder to another or one addiction to another and again that's not healthy and it's still not changing up here. So I just wanted you to have a little think about that, you know, what is it really that you are looking for? to Stacey for you to be tiny? What is it that you're actually hoping to achieve by losing weight, by, you know, being tiny, by kind of keeping moving the goalposts and um, losing more and more weight? What are you actually hoping that's gonna achieve for you? Because like I said, eating disorders are a mental health illness and this needs to be changed. Yes, okay, it's all very good to be, to be healthy weight um, and, you know, that's, um, you know, that doesn't even need saying. If, if you're kind of, you know, struggling with physical symptoms, then obviously something needs to be done about your, your weight. But um, for it to be really, really sorted, the mindset needs to be changed. Sarah, I want to be healthy again so that I can get back into my running. I think famous people that are too skinny. Oh, I can't look at the rest of it. Okay, sorry, but you want to be healthy again. Yeah, and again, it's sometimes it's not about, you know, there is the healthy element physically, 
but there's also you know you need a healthy mind as well for because our mind controls everything if we don't have a healthy mind then you know it's not healthy in our body either okay and yeah you want to get back into running because running is a great way of relieving stress and kind of like keeping toned etc it's when it becomes an obsession that's you know that that kind of can go wrong a little bit okay so um that's i only wanted to come in briefly but if you have any questions then please do do pop them in and sarah i can't see the rest of yours so um so i will answer that if i've missed something um when i get to the comments um, Stacy, you're running again obsessively. Well, my lovely, you are really struggling um, with your physical health at the moment. So, you know, you've got to, you, I really need you to sort of like talk to people, you know, your physical doctors, if you're having any support for your eating disorder, about what is the right thing for you. You know, because you don't want to put any more stress on your body. Yes, running has its physical advantages and, you know, physical exercise activity has its advantages. But with you and, you know, obviously you're quite vulnerable right now at the moment. I would, you know, I really, really recommend that you talk to somebody about what is best for you right now. Um, Sarah, thanks to you, I'm definitely getting there. That's great, and I know we, you are just, uh, you know, for, you are working so well. We're working together, and you are just absolutely. I love it because you are really sort of motivated, and although you're sort of, you know, you're you're worried, you're still kind of, you know, you still have your kind of fears and anxieties and stuff like that, but. Um, you know, you, you are really motivated and committed to this and you're doing the work and stuff and that's all that I can ask and I'm really, really proud of you because it ain't easy. Um, yeah, please look, be, please be careful and look after yourself. Yes, definitely, Stacey. So, um, if you're watching on the replay, please let me know that you're watching and ask any questions that you'd like to. Um, I hope this is of value interest. Um, and what else have I got to say? Okay, so I am about to, I offer a 12 week um, complete support program, whereas I work one-to-one um, -one with, with clients over the period of 12 weeks. And I offer um, sort of weekly sessions within there, but I also um, then offer complete support. So you can contact me uh, during the day and I reach out to you every day to sort of see if you need any sort of more help, some guidance, some support. Um, just really sort of like holding your hand every step of the way really because I know I definitely needed that. Um, but I am about to increase my prices. Um, so they were 1,497 and it's about to go up to 1,797. And, um, but if you contact me, if you are interested in working with me and you would like to work with me and you want to kind of have a, oh, thank you, Sarah. Um, if you want to discuss working with me, then I will hold those um, old prices for the next sort of, um, till the end of this week. So if you are interested, then um, get in touch with me. And I've also developed, or created rather, a six month package as well. Just because, I mean, you know, and Sarah is doing amazingly and we're only on like week five, is it? Something like that, it's just incredible. The results have been amazing. Um, but I do know that some people get a bit scared by the whole 12 week issue thinking, you know, yes, we get results, but they kind of like worry about you know, or oh, I'm going to need support for longer than that. So basically, the the six month thing is the same as the twelve week, but there's some sort of like review sessions that we have, kind of like um, a couple of fortnightly sessions in week four, and then another couple sort of monthly sessions in 
month five and six just to kind of make sure that you're okay and you get the complete support still there with me. So I'm still holding your hand every step of the way. Um, you know, and you can contact me at any point that you can. It's just how you feel. Some people like the idea of 12 weeks, let's get it, blast it and let's go. And that's absolutely perfect. But some people just like that reassurance that I'm gonna be around for a little bit longer. And, um, and Sarah, you don't need to worry because, you know, you can always contact me anyway if, if you need to afterwards. So nobody needs to worry. Um, for anybody that is uh, celebrating Easter um, this coming weekend, I know it can be a pretty tricky sort of time. And um, there can be obviously a lot of fears around sort of social events and the whole chocolate and, and everything and food. So all I'd suggest to you is I did, if, if those of you followed and, and remember, I did a series of videos um, leading up to Christmas last last year. Um, and those videos should still be on this page. So if you are, you know, kind of worried and that, and you want to refer back to those videos that I did, I think I called them Advent Calendar or something like that. So, you know, very, very short snippets, so they won't kind of take you long to go through. But if you are kind of feeling a bit fearful, a bit anxious, um, then have a look through those because they might just help you. Um, okay, so as I said, if you would, if you're interested in, in working with me, then um, have a look at my website, www.kissgoodbytoanna.com and there's a page on there called one-to-one um, -one support. So you can have a look and it's got all the details and it's got sort of like common concerns and things like that. Have a read through. If you have any further questions or if you'd like to sort of discuss um, working with me, then get in touch. Um, there is a payment plan uh, should, you, should you need that. Um, yeah, so just um, get in touch. As I say, if you're watching on the replay, um, let me know who's watching and um, if you have any questions, please do write them in the comments or, you know, PM me, that's absolutely fine. Thank you, Stacey and Sarah for, for joining me live. It's been lovely to have you on and um, I will see you next week. All right, take care. And um, as always, if you have any questions or if you're struggling over this weekend and stuff, if you wanna, um, you know, pop them on the page or, or PM me or I have a, a group um, called EFT Tapping, helping you with your eating disorder. If you'd like to join that, then you'd be very welcome. Uh, otherwise, I will see you soon. Lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye.